I'm Phil and this is my beautiful wife Erin. Last year we decided to stop nesting and start traveling. So our son and two daughters walked away from their in-person schools and busy modeling schedules and we started exploring the world to expand our understanding of other cultures. One of our most recent trips kept us pretty close to home as we toured coastal Maine and its legendary restaurant scene. So come along for a tour of our favorites. Lucky for us, we're heading to our first dinner here in Cliff House. I'm excited because I'm very hungry again. So this is the signature restaurant for Cliff House. It's called The Tiller. If we play our cards right, maybe we're gonna get one of these tables that's overlooking the cliffs. I think nice. there's gonna be good views no matter what. Yeah. But those in particular look pretty stellar, so hopefully we get hooked up. Looks like we got the best seat in the house. I think we're gonna have a gorgeous, gorgeous sunset tonight. Also, that's east. You're right. I'm so. so used to being on the west coast, I expect the sun to come. <laughs> We're gonna cut that. Let me read this, actually. <laughs> By partnering with local farmers, fishermen, ranchers, and distillers, Cliff House combines the region's distinctive culture and tradition with culinary innovation. So that's Tillard in a nutshell, I guess. Where sea meets shore. It's actually a fantastic martini. I love how it's so seafood forward. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna definitely do, I'm gonna take you up on the uh, lamb shake. All right, and then kiddos, you wanna tell us what you'd like? May I please have, how skinny are the french fries? Brooklyn is very particular about her french fries. She likes the very, very super shoestring fries. All right, Colt, show us what you have there, bud. Trying your steak, bud? Dad, I know it sounds crazy and you might think it's not a really good time to ask for this, but Dad, I gotta go to the bathroom. Of course you do. Of course you do. The food just came, so it's bathroom time. Take your mask. Oh, that's him? Thank you. It smells so good. It's on lobster fried rice, and I can smell the lobster with the scallops and that fried rice flavoring, and it smells so good. Lobster fried rice it smells so good. Mm, I love it because it's not like a thick and heavy fried rice like a typical Asian style. It's definitely has its own seafood twist on it. It's really light. They do a great job with these scallops. Super crispy on the outside because it's pan sear and really, really delicious on the inside and tender and juicy. All right, let's dig in. I'm gonna try that farro risotto first. Man, it's so yellow, I wonder why. Cheesy, you can see that oh, coming up. Yeah. She's right, that is like macaroni and cheese. But healthy because it's farro. <laughs> and then these like little teeny carrots. Look at this guy. I mean, you can eat this with a out. toothpick. Mm. Wow, that is just unbelievably tender. I know everybody always says that, so tender, but I don't know if I've ever had meat that tender and you just get so much of the lamb taste with it. I think it's fantastic. I could probably eat three of these, honestly. It is stuffed. Obviously, there's still more room for wine. But I'm Check time. Glasses time. <laughs> Getting older sucks. Yeah, but you look hot. Babe, you look so hot with glasses on. What a great first day. Uh, love the resort so far. Can't wait to explore it more. Love our room. And speaking of that, head it back to our room. But again, make sure to subscribe, like, hit the notification button because we have so much more to show you of Maine, not just Maine, but all of our other adventures. Also, make sure to comment because we are really excited to hear what you have to say and we're super excited to give you some insight too. So ask us anything. Right, Bean? We're gonna have a leisure cruise back and look at all these gorgeous houses here. And then we're gonna have some lunch and we're talking about going to Barnacle Billy's. It has been around for 59 years. It is a staple here in Ogunquit. Ogunquit. Ah, Ogunquit. 
So we're gonna go there and get some lobster steamed clams, a lobster stew that's their original recipe. There's gonna be a lot of good stuff to choose from. Barnacle Billy's been here for 59 years, but I can't wait another minute. We're gonna go get some yummy seafood. He's gonna show us a lobster. Whoa, that is huge. Oh my goodness. Can you guys can touch it? Holy smokes! Here you go, touch this one. Every time I pick up a lobster, it's big. He said he wished he could pinch us right now. Or the double cheese. Steamed clams, that's what I want. Man, I'm very curious about the clam chowder, but I've got to get the steamed clams. This is a claim to fame. It's the clam to fame. <laughs> clam chokes. Try that punch, baby. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And the seasoning on top, it almost looks like a Bloody Mary because of the color and the seasoning. It doesn't taste like a Bloody Mary, I know. <laughs> You're right. It tastes like punch with rum in it. That's good. This is their signature drink, is the Billy's Rum Punch. This dark and stormy looks legit. I stirred it a little bit, actually, but it was like uh, ginger beer down here and just dark rum. Oh yeah. I hope, real deal. I hope real the deal. rum punch is the real deal. Brooklyn, show us your walrus. For 60, please. 60. Whoa. This Let's is ridiculous. Put this in the gravy thing. Uh oh. How's the grilled cheese so far? Bag right here for you. Grilled cheese is good. Good. Okay. Let's see what's under here. <gasps> Supplies. How is it? That is a spot. <laughs> That's good clam chowder. I bet I get some too. Steamed clams! Steamed clam time. So here's the deal with this. And this is the first time I have ever been served clams this way. So we're served the sauces separately. We just got a gust of wind. We have the broth that I dip it in first, just to make sure that all of the sand or little pieces of shell gets off of there and you get the broth and the flavor. Then you dip it in the butter. There you go. Mm. They are so fresh. You don't get fresher clams than this. Clamor fresh. You don't get any clamors fresher than this. So I was doing it wrong. Here's what you do. You have to get this little sucker off. There you go. And it's quite messy. If you know me, I don't like to get my fingers dirty when I'm eating. Anyone you take this part off. Trays. And then this part actually tastes kind of like calamari. It's a little bit tougher than the rest of it. And I dip it in this broth, which has a little bit of butter in it. Check out its inside. Mm. And it's like meaty and soft all together. Very clammy. We are headed to dinner. We are going for some sophisticated fine dining. This place is called Five O, and it's right in the heart of Ogunquit, and it's really kind of defines the going out experience for this little town. Yes, it is a local favorite, and it's called Five O because that's its address, Fifty Shore Road. And as far as fare, it's kind of a mix, a hodgepodge. We're gonna have some good seafood, maybe some good pasta, a lot of good atmosphere, and we were promised it's fantastic food. This menu has me all confused on what I want, per usual. The pasta, I hear, is really good here. So the linguine, fungal, fungal egg, I don't know. Uh, looks awesome with clams and parsley and wine sauce. Drinks, yes! Definitely want some drinks. Um, I'm going to have the sparkling pineapple martini. And you're gonna do the Five o Cosmo. Cosmo, please. It's got the look. It's got the smell. And it's got some bubbly on top. Ooh, that's like a party in your mouth. That's really good.
yummy. I like it. Super light, refreshing, just I like my cocktails. Not too sweet, because I think that pineapple is more of a lighter fruit than a thick and super sweet. Does the champagne really come through? The champagne comes through my mouth and into my belly. This is definitely how I like my Cosmos, not too dark, you know, then you know they didn't use too much cranberry juice. It's a good Cosmo. I'd give it an A minus, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try their top knot. Mm. It works. That's delicious. I've got some faith in this restaurant. I'm looking forward to dinner. This is like a mountain of clams that you would have thought I've had enough of today. <laughs> but these are totally different clams. No need to go through a huge process. Twist them out, and it's uh, a white wine sauce, so super light. Mm. Our server recommended it because it has a little spice to it, and it definitely does, and I love spice. This is perfectly balanced with all the saltiness and the broth, and you can taste the butter in there too. Super, super yummy. But babe, your halibut looks incredible. It's really good. Nice and crispy on top, maybe. Ooh, so flaky. I don't know what these are. There was a name for it on the menu and I should have remembered it. It's like parsnipy or something, it's delicious. I think it was uh, haircuts. You know everything. Mmm, that's really good. It's cooked perfectly. Very flaky. Carrot puree on the base, but oh. All I need is a cocktail. Oh! Well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, it's delicious. I am gonna finish my wine and we're gonna head out. But I get it. I understand why this is such a local spot. It does have that sophistication, but it's not intimidating in a fine dining way that it's just for that one special night, just for a birthday. This feels like a, a Friday, Saturday night, we live in town and we've got to go to dinner. Of course, we're going to go to five. Oh, everybody's food was delicious. I tried it all. And it's worth the hype, 100%. This is a very exciting evening. We're going to a really special restaurant with a really special chef. It's called Walker's Main. This is a husband and wife duo who own and run this restaurant. And Danielle Johnson Walker is the sommelier and her husband is the chef. And in fact, he is a triple A four diamond award winning chef. And they're both New England natives. The food, the menu just looks absolutely incredible. There was a fire in the restaurant last year. So this is their grand reopening, not just for the season, but since that fire. So we're really going to be a part of a special night. Well, I can't wait. So let's head out. fun-looking drink. I could go to a party with this cocktail. That is like bubble gum. <laughs> Since we might be trading, just because, not serving. <laughs> you know what? Like honey, the whole thing is just very subtle. There's not much flavor at all. And it's gin, so you don't have a whole lot from there, but then the botanicals come through just a little bit. The honey, like I said, is just subtle, just the right amount of sweetness, which is almost none. And then the lemon I, is probably the dominant flavor. Our Caesar salad, their take on the Caesar salad with the duck egg dressing is here, and I'm digging right in and getting one of these big bad boy anchovies in there. The duck really comes forward in the dressing. Go Ducks! This is so tender already and it's in this super dark brothy sauce. Like I said, super tender. Super flavorful and juicy. Alright, let's dig in. Eight ounce charcoal roasted stick. Looks really good. Has the caramelized tomato on top. Oh man. with the sauce that's on this is incredible too. I don't know what I would normally put on a, uh, a steak. I think this might be like a horseradish butter, so I'm gonna try that. Mm, that is. I'm gonna make 
take you a bite. There, you can see the sauce on top of this tomato. Yeah. That's nuts. Baby, this is gonna rock in the world. Mmm, mm-hmm. That's good, right? That's it. Well, you are digging in to this pasta. We are super happy for them having a reopening tonight and hit it out of the park. They're fantastic. I love how they are locally owned. I think that my favorite part of the night was the wine pairing that we had with our meals. It was fantastic. Good job, Danielle. Kudos. Yes, kudos to Danielle. All right, let's get these kids home because they were the best behaved kids in the whole world and now Earlier today, we took a nice little boat ride right along the coast of Kennebunkport, Maine. Which, by the way, if you don't already know, is home to the Bush Dynasty. We're going to cover that in a different episode. But we love this place so much that we decided to actually go back tonight and have dinner in Kennebunkport. We're going to the White Barn Inn. And when we looked for recommendations, our Inspirato member group had an astounding reply that you have to go to the White Barn Inn. Now normally they have a fine dining restaurant that is award winning and phenomenal, incredible people raving about it, but they only have that on the weekends. And since we're only here on the weekdays, we're going to the Little Barn, which is a casual dinner. So that'll be great for the kids, but it's still gonna have that farm to table and locally sourced food. <laughs> There's a little trouble finding our reservation and it turns out that our reservation was for last night. <laughs> so they're being super sweet and accommodating and they're going to find a table for us. So all is well. We're still going to eat. Now we're definitely going to get us seated, but we probably need about 20 minutes until they have something for us. So they put, in this, put us in this cool little living room area. Got like a real fire over here. I feel like we're back in the 1800s. It's really cool. Kids are going to play a little chess, maybe grab a cocktail. Yeah, we should be seated pretty soon. Cheers, babe. All right, I'm definitely not a steak sauce kind of guy when it comes to really good steak, really any steak for that matter. But here, they just brought me a bottle of house-made steak sauce. So I think I'm gonna have to try it because that could be legit. Surprise, those are right up your alley, huh, Bean? I got the crispy polenta with bolognese sauce, and it looks so delicious. It's creamy and, shall I say, crispy. That's really yummy, it's really yummy pasta sauce. It's like a vodka sauce. Tons and chunks of bolognese. It's on the special menu. It is special. All right, let's get a little bit of the stick sauce down here. Ooh, or a lot. <laughs> so this is a ribeye with cheesy mashed potatoes and grilled asparagus. That is good sauce. And this probably goes without saying, it's not going to convert me to start using steak sauce on a good steak, but it's definitely some good flavor. <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I'm done too. Oh my gosh, you nailed the steak, babe. You were the steak's boss. It's a good steak. He had phenomenal service, so I made a mistake and got the wrong day. So we had to wait a little bit for a table, only like 15 minutes. And we had, uh, I had a glass of wine, Phil had a drink. Turns out they wanted to compliment us with this libation. But wait, that's my mistake for wait. The service? Out of the park. It's the best meal we've had in this entire day, for sure. If you can make it here, make it here because this is really good. Also, the wheels are coming off. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, we just arrived back at Cliff House and uh, everything's good, but we're trying to make it in so that we can get some s'mores tonight. And we only have like three minutes left, so we're not sure if we're going to make it here in time. Oh, I see the fires going over here in the fire pit. But we have to get to the concierge so that we can actually get some marshmallows in one of the s'mores making kits. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Looks like you made it, bud. So cold. So cold? We'll be at the fire soon. At least you get some s'mores. We made it. We're doing marshmallows. We're doing marshmallows. Here, bubbies. I think I have to go to the room and get you my don't. jacket. No. You don't. No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
Let's see it, bud. Is it good? Probably good. How is it? Worth the weight? Worth the burn. Is your cold? I'm freezing. You wanna call it a night? Thank you. Inside? You Best meal ever. Best dessert ever. It was really delicious, but definitely best service that we have seen in a long time. Phenomenal. Good night, baby. Good night. See you back in the room. <laughs> so a lot of people think that it's hard to travel with kids and it is definitely difficult and has its challenges at times, but it makes it so much easier for us to travel since we joined Inspirato because of how much space we get. Even though we're not at a big home, like they have so many in their portfolio, we're at a resort but it's a three-bedroom resort room. So we've got plenty of space and it makes it so much easier. Years ago, we decided it was time for my ad agency to abandon the in-person five-day work week. So we 86 our office and work hours, allowing our own family of five to start traveling almost constantly. We now work, school, and explore in a new place every week. From our own mountain and beach homes to exotic villas, resorts, and yachts around the world. As we experience and support diverse cultures, we hope to inspire more families to design a life of freedom and adventure. Because there's a new American dream. It's one that's void of templated expectations, templated career paths, templated education, templated families, templated homes, and templated lives. Freedom's no longer American tagline, it's just the new global way of life. Every day that you spend doing something that doesn't fulfill you to your core, you're living your life on pause. You're deferring genuine family time with no guarantee that there will be a tomorrow or a someday. Some people follow that mentality their entire lives. We've chosen to never live that way again. We appreciate you following our journey. The more our channel grows, the more time we can spend traveling to more locations, contributing to these cultures, highlighting local businesses, and sharing inspiring stories from these communities. So please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing so that you can stick with us for the long haul.